Toyota Igo 2009. Now to remove the stereo here, the whole panel here has to come off completely. The vents at the top stay there. To start off with we need to remove the little heater control knob, which we need to use a very, very thin tool for a small flathead. Be very gentle, just pop it behind and pull it forwards. That removes out, leaving one screw behind there. If you undo this screw, which is a crosshead, we can now begin to remove the panel. So we start from the bottom with our trim tool, we pop it underneath. We can now get our fingers underneath to hold the panel up and work our way along the panel. Do both sides, work your way from the bottom right up to the top. We can now put our fingers behind and pull on the panel. A little bit of a wiggle and pull it forwards. This is now an ISO stereo in here. So standard ISO plugs, squeeze the little trigger in and pull them out. And the area connection will just pull off. Underneath the stereo, we now have the, uh, the cables for the rest of the heater controls and the hazards. These also just have small little tabs to push in. And they will pull out. Once they're pulled out, you will need to remove the stereo from the fascia panel. To remove the stereo, we need to push the pins in both sides and push the panel backwards to release. So, pins in there. And push the panel backwards. Slide the stereo from the fascia panel, and the fascia panel can be put back in with everything plugged in, and the new fascia panel put in there for the new stereo.